you might remember a few weeks ago, um, there was the whole Jeremy Paxman saga about supportive underwear for gentlemen. Uh, it reached the national papers. And at the very moment that it reached national papers, one of our local companies was investigating exactly that thing. Support for gentlemen's parts. I want to speak to the man behind it, Paul O'Leary, who owns Duval Kitchens and also Shreddies, a new pant company. Um, we did this photo shoot yesterday um, with Ben and uh, another lady called Katie. Uh, it's Ben Challenger, who's an Olympic high jumper. Uh, these photos are of him at his uh, house. Uh, his dad's uh, Romeo, who's the drummer in Shawadi Wadi. And uh, they live in uh, this house in Woodhouse Eve. So it's great location, it's lovely trees, this huge redwood with uh, Ben climbing up it. He's an excellent rock climber, by the way, Ben. Um, so uh, we've got some good shots of him wearing our underwear, climbing up this huge redwood tree and leaping off it and stuff. So just, you see, last time I was here, we talked about the pants a lot, but you wouldn't tell me rightly, you wouldn't tell me any details about them at all, mm. except they were going to change people's lives and eradicate forever the transit nad, mm. which we talked about at some length last time. Now you can tell me because they've all been prototyped and they've been patented. That's right, yes. Well, uh, the, the transit nad story was actually a byproduct of our primary aim, which was to... Uh, cure uh, people who suffer from gastric disorders and have really malodorous flatulence which can be very debilitating between two and four million people in this country have gastric disorders such as irritable bowel syndrome Crohn's disease and there aren't any there isn't any medication that uh, successfully uh, cures that problem there are a couple of products on the market for filtering out flatulence odours, but they're either completely ineffective or so uncomfortable and awful looking that uh, you really wouldn't want to be seen wearing them. We set out to create a pair of underpants that would cure the problem, but look normal. In the process of doing that, we found out that the snug fitting of the activated carbon panel could only be achieved if you lifted uh, the testicles and penis out from between the legs and held it up forward so you get a snug fit under the gusset. When we did that, we realised that these pants offered greater support and package enhancement than any other pair of pants we'd ever seen. Researching uh, other new innovations on the internet, we found that package enhancement was proving to be the best-selling product in all of the new internet-based companies. Right. If had one internet company had gone on, online with it and sold, was it 40,000 pairs in, in a week? Yeah. million quid of the turnover, yeah. roughly? 40,000 pairs in the first 10 days that they launched. Good grief. And that's what package enhancement can do for underwear sales. So the whole Paxman thing about not having enough support was, was kind of a fortunate byproduct of all of this, wasn't it? It was, yeah. A happy accident, I'll call it. So you've got these pants, you, uh, if you buy the sort of super pant, which has got all the aspects in it, it does three things. It does, yeah. It does uh, package enhancement, it does testicular support, adjustable, and also flatulence filtration. We're having the flatulence filtration claims tested at uh, De Montfort University's textile testing department and um, they are using a gas chromatograph to measure just how much odours are absorbed by the activated carbon and how many odours pass through it. And we also have to do wash care instructions yeah, and cool. uh, careful, careful to make sure that the product remains effective after 100 washes. It's been an amazing journey of discovery really for you, hasn't it? You know, you started off making kitchens and now I would imagine that whilst that's the primary business, that this is very distracting, isn't it? Well, it's better than distracting. Yeah, the yeah. kitchen business, thankfully, runs itself. I've got a great general manager and uh, great kitchen designers. But, um, I, you know, I have another company, a flooring business. That kind of runs itself with a little bit of uh, overseeing from me. But this is what I love doing. I'm a product designer at heart. Mm. I've got designers all around me, and we're just having great fun. Isn't that great? That's Paul O'Leary speaking to me yesterday. And listen out on Monday, because I also spoke to Ben Challenger about, A, how he's getting on with developing these pants, and and uh, how he's hoping and looking forward to the Olympics. So listen out on uh, Monday for the rest of that interview. It's 13 minutes to 8.